Hey everyone, welcome back. So, if you don't have any official mail ID or any student mail ID, but still you want to log in into the Power Bay server using your personal mail ID, then this video is all about for you. So let's see how we can create our personal mail ID to log in into Power BI server. Okay. So for that, first of all, you have to go to the Google and here you have to search for Microsoft 365 developer. Okay. Then click enter. Here you can see this is the first link that is developer program Microsoft 365 Dev Center. Right. Don't worry. I will give the link on the descriptions of this video. So you can check out from there as well. All right. So just click on it and make it open and then it will redirect you to this particular page over here okay then click on join now and then here you have to log in with your microsoft account all right so if you don't have any microsoft account so you can click on this use another account then you can create a account from here okay so i have already the microsoft account so i can log in with my microsoft account that i have okay and then it will redirect you to this particular page all right then the next step is here you have to fill the details that is you have to enter your region that is india all right then company name you can enter any name like tcs okay then here you have to select the language that should be english then click on this checkbox and click on next all right then here it is asking you what is your primary focus on developers right so here you have to select personal projects all right or you can select other as well but here i am selecting the personal project all right then click on next and again it is asking what are the microsoft 365 development are you interested in so i am interested in all of this so i can click on all this checkbox all right then click on save all right then it is asking for set up your microsoft 365 e5 sandbox right so here you can see two options that is instance sandbox and second is configurable sandbox right so out of these two you have to select this configurable sandbox all right then click on next and here again you have to select the region that is india and here it is asking to create a username so you can give the any name so here I am entering my YouTube channel name that is Milestone Creator. All right. And here you have to enter the domain name. So you can enter any domain name over here that is BI Developer. Okay. All right. So it's checking. And this domain name is already taken, it is saying. So here I can enter 101. All right okay so this domain name is now available right then next is here you have to enter your password all right same password here also you have to enter okay then click on continue then click on okay and here you have to enter the country code okay so my country code is 91 because it is india and here you have to enter your mobile number okay then click on send code then enter the code that you have received in your mobile phone then click on set qp and wait for some time it is in progress mode and it's done right Congratulations, you have successfully created the administrator mail ID here, right? So by the help of this mail ID, you can easily log in into your Power BI server account, all right? And this is valid for 92 days, correct? So if it will be expired, then you have to do the same process again. And again, you have to create another mail ID and you can log in into your Power BI server account, correct? So, I hope this video is more helpful for those people who are regressly looking for the official mail ID or student mail ID to log in into the Power BI server account, right? So, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.